Hi fishing friends, my name is Robert Maddox and I'm coming to you from my workshop here in Las Vegas. Today we're going to create a video showing general maintenance and cleaning tips for a bait casting reel. So hang in there and I think you're going to like this. Before you actually start cleaning, you want to take the time to gather up all the tools and cleaning supplies, oils and greases that you're going to need to do a maintenance and a general cleaning on any reel. So what we'll do is we'll go over those real quick. First, you need a pair of pliers. These are blunt needle nose pliers. And you'll see why we need those later. You're going to need a screwdriver multiple screwdrivers both both Phillips head and flat head <clears throat> you're going to need these tweezers and why is because many of the parts especially some of the C clamps are very very hard to pick up if you have big hands so um, this comes in very handy a pencil believe it or not uh, pencil just break off the lead portion and it's perfect it fits into the uh, steel uh, cage um, of the inner portion of the race I guess it's called the inner portion of the uh, ball bearing and you can spin the ball bearing with it and the soft wood doesn't damage the bearing in any way you need a toothbrush a soft toothbrush for scrubbing and cleaning um, it really comes in handy. You'll need a wrench to remove the handle nuts on most reels. These are a universal size, but I will tell you that uh, many reels, especially ocean reels, have a different um, size nuts. So you will need a little more universal size in case you're working with a bigger reel. <clears throat> now, cleaning supplies, some of the things that I like to use. I like to use these round pads that you often will find, I think women use these to remove makeup from their face. There's a puffy side and there's a smooth side. It's made of cotton. Um, they're, they absorb oil, they absorb grease, they're amazing, and they're great things to have. They come in 100 or whatever, 80 here, like in Safeway here. They're great to have. In addition, paper towels are great. So I, what I do is I take a paper towel and I basically tear it in, you know, four to eight pieces, and I use those for a lot of things. In addition... You can get yourself some simple green, just a small amount of simple green. Uh, mix it with water, a weak solution, and it's fantastic for removing dirt, grime, all kinds of uh, uh, built-in dirt and grime on reels. I like to you can dip a Q-tip in there, get into some tight spots here, and get some a lot of bad dirt out of there. Um, the simple green will not harm any parts in your reel it's safe for plastics it's safe for the metal portions and it leaves no residue you can go to the store you can buy any number of reel cleaners i think bass pro shops has one uh, our dent has a reel cleaner uh, pin reel cleaner works great i like the pin reel, reel cleaner so um, i use it when i need to really that's all you need for the cleaning portion of it now let's talk about the about the lube. Um, let's talk about the grease and the oil. So first you have the oils, and really any oil is better than no oil. Um, but there are different oils, uh, and we're going to go over that real quick. Here we have a Super Lube multi-purpose synthetic oil. Now this is a viscous oil. It's just, it's good for, I believe it's um, 
very very wide range of heat there we go from minus 45 degrees to 450 degrees but it is rather thick as you can see I don't know if you can see here but you can see it's a it's it's very viscous um, it's a great oil for worm gear it's a great oil for frame bearings or any bearing in your reel that is not actually on the spool shaft or on the spool okay <clears throat> pin precision oil this is a great oil um, it's also a little thicker uh, but you can use this for your bearings it works great no problems whatsoever we have Ardent which is a very thin light bearing oil this is great oil for the spool bearings or spool shaft bearings and as you can see a lot of the different um, like this is uh, Babu Garcia you got Shimano here um, Shimano Abu Garcia oil here's Abu Garcia oil a lot of the different real manufacturers have their own oil you can get quantum hot sauce rocket fuel it doesn't make a difference the light the general rule is this the very light oils are better for the spool bearings and the thicker more viscous oils are better for the frame bearings um, or the worm gear or other places that I'll show you where we use oil all right so at this point we're going to tear down the reel and get started and show you what we need to do so once you've gathered up all the needed items to begin the general maintenance and lubrication of your bait caster one of the first things you want to do is tape your line to the spool that's it will uh, help in the removal of the spool so we're going to take our our PC fun Perseus and we're going to remove the left side plate there you go and we'll pull out the spool all right at this point let's take a look at the left side plate all right <clears throat> as you can see this reel is both magnetic and centrifugal okay and what we want to do there is get ourselves a q-tip and take it and run it around on the inside of that brake just remove any old gunk or oil or whatever might be there okay once that's done just take a little bit of the oil we have this will work fine put a single solitary small drop on it there we go <clears throat> take it and rub it gently on the inside of that brake drum just like that okay now once you have that done you want to come over here and this is the brakes you can see them there these are the centrifugal brakes and you want to clean these just clean them up real good you get those clean <clears throat> turn your attention to the bearing here inside the side plate what you can do here is take your light any light bearing oil 
and just put the tiniest drop right there that's all you need and this is where our pencil comes in take the pencil put replace it in the bearing and just gently turn it around to work that oil down into the bearing okay all right good now at this point we'll get our grease toothpick <clears throat> and you can see there there's some lugs here that's what basically what you use to hold the left side plate on you're just gonna just put a very light touching of grease on those lugs right there just very light okay and that's it you're done with that <clears throat> Now, there's more to do on there, but we'll wait until we assemble the reel. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So we'll take our toothpick again, and we're going to gently rub. There we go. Right, there's the rest of those lugs right there. There we go. There we go. There. Okay, now, if you can look down inside there, I hope you can see that. Um, we'll use the pencil. There's a bearing. This is a, this pinion gear here is bearing supported in the um, PC Fun uh, Perseus reel. So th on this particular reel, the bearing actually which would be the right spool bearing. You can see there's no spool bearing here on the spool shaft. That's because the spool is actually supported with this bearing which holds the pinion gear in place. So what we'll do is we'll take our oil and put a drop right there in that bearing right there. That's all it takes. Single drop. Okay. That's it. And here you can turn the handle. And if you can see that, we'll just work that oil into the bearing there. Okay? Good. Now, at this point, remember, this is just simple general maintenance and lubrication. So we don't want to get um, too detailed on taking the reel apart. Your worm gear is a very, very important. You can see the worm gear there. This must be lubed at all times. I do not like um, to use grease in the worm gear. Uh, I believe that uh, grease has a tendency to pick up a lot of grit and dirt, dust from travel. Um, I think what you end up doing is it becomes quite abrasive and as it becomes more and more abrasive it wears on the um, worm gear and the worm gear cam that sits inside the screw. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the more viscous oil. This is a much thicker oil here and it's from Superlube. And we're going to put a couple of drops in here. So one or two good drops of this much thicker oil. It's a synthetic. And just work it in there. There you go. And then take a little oil here and just a small drop right there. There we go. There. And that'll be just incredibly smooth. And this should be done every couple of months at the at the extreme. I like to do mine uh, every other trip or so. All right. 
Now, there is a few things we're going to do quickly. All right. So all you have to do is take this screw out here, and this will allow us to get to the handle nut. Place everything in order that you take it off so you know what order goes back on. It's very important. We use our handle nut wrench. Just loosen it up. Place everything the way it comes off. Now there's a small, very small, very thin washer here. Okay, so just sit it over here. There we go. There we go. Remove this piece. The star drag can now be screwed off. There we go. That's the star drag. And let's take our spool tension knob and remove it. There we go. Now this little piece of plastic here can pop right off. Let's see here. There we go. There's a little deep, there's little knobs there and small detents that they fit into. It's very easy to replace. It's no big deal. You have a bearing here, as you can see right there. And this bearing, okay, is the is a is a bearing that supports the spool right here at the very end. And all you need to do is come over here and grab your light thin oil, put one single drop in that bearing. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Very simple. Now, to put it all back together, you simply need to replace the ratchet. The screws back on. You have some threads here, so it doesn't hurt to take a little grease. Here we go. To take a little grease, if I can find it, and put some grease right there on those threads. Work it in real good. Okay, and we can put our star drag back on. All right, you, want to, you don't want to cross thread that. So, all right, now. If you take, at this point, if you take this Q-tip, pull most of the Q-tip off, you can then take the Q-tip and insert it into, there you go, well, a little too much still, Let me get some more of it out of here. All right, so <clears throat> there you go. Take your Q-tip. Should there you go? See how it goes in here. Just move it around and get all that all that gunk out of there. See? <clears throat> all right. Continue to put it back together real quick.
Before we assemble the rest of it, what we want to do is take our oil and put just a single drop here on the end of the spool shaft. There we go. Single drop. Place that in. Place another single drop at the other left end of the spool shaft. Right there. And take your side plate and it slides right on. And this thing not a sound. Okay, so, and there you go. This is fast, quick. It takes care of things that are uh, important. It takes care of the things that we're going to get dirtiest the fastest. Um, and you're ready to hit the water, okay? Next time we do this, we'll go much more in detail and we'll actually take off the right side plate and show you how to grease the gears. We'll show you how to um, grease the clean and lubricate the drag stack. Um, so, so stand by for part two. All right. Have a great day. Goodbye, everyone.